some people are wondering, obviously yourself and the Taoiseach have been out thanking people of Kildare for their efforts and um, they have made a considerable effort, but some people are wondering, was there a need for people in Kildare to make an effort? Is the reason why the figures have come down and the spread of the virus is under control in Kildare because you took action on meat plants only? And had you done nothing else, if you just took action on meat plants, we would have had the same result today. So Shane, what we'll show hopefully on Thursday, <coughs> excuse me, what we'll show on Thursday is a slide uh, which demonstrates that Kildare had a dual peak. So initially it had a, it had a big peak from, the, from the, the, the clusters in the meat processing facilities. But then it had a second peak a few days later, which were in households. And the reason that they were brought under control is for one reason only, and that's the people in Kildare cut down their level of social contact. They adhered to the public health guidance and they stopped it leaking out into widespread community transmission. So we'll show that graphically on Thursday. Uh, but, I, I, so, but to your other point, um, perhaps things weren't done perfectly in relation to those factory clusters, but they were the first real challenge and they were, they were an enormous challenge in a very rapid period of time. And I have to pay testament to the public health doctors and the public health teams who did manage those uh, and to a large extent control those. It was because of their efforts that we knew about them, that we were able to react quickly, that we put the measures in place. And if you recall at the time, it came as a shock to people. And I'm sure many people were wondering why we were, were moving so quickly. We were able to do that because we were aware of, of, of the picture as it was evolving quickly so we could move quickly. So I can understand that, that, that people are, are wondering the clusters themselves and the meat processing facilities haven't really been the driving issue now for a couple of weeks. It, it moved into households, but thankfully people, through adhering to the advice, stopped it at that point. So the first peak was meat plants, the second peak was people in households. Would the third peak have been um, vulnerable people? Would it have been um, serious illness and death? So, so we can't say that it wouldn't have been, so it may well have been. If it got out into the communities, if it got into residential care facilities, um, we know that the vast majority of cases in Kildare and nationally have been in younger people. Um, and that's one of the reasons, thankfully, um, that we're, we're not seeing a significant impact on our hospital system. We're not seeing an impact in terms of mortality. But that can change if, if we don't continue to watch this very closely.